everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Crate, and I'm here to share with you my latest album, which is Rain of Grace from Stamperia. I'm pretty happy with the cover. So this is a cut apart from the collection, and then I fussy cut these flowers, fussy cut and layered, so you can see there's some beneath the um, cut apart and some on top. I think that turned out really good. I put two pieces of filigree here on the side. This was cut off one of the 12 by 12s. I really like the way that looks. So I put it here on the spine. And as you can see, I wrapped this beautiful um, background sheet all the way around. So it is 12 by 12 and goes around the edge. Okay, I did a little grid pattern here. I've got a couple more cut aparts in here and then a nice big seven by seven insert. Each one of the pages has one of these large inserts. I did not have enough paper to cover that. So if you guys are interested in covering uh, these inserts, you're gonna need to order a little more than what I put on the material list. Here we have our traditional waterfall. Oops, these are supposed to be tucked in here. Let me scoot that down so you can see it. I've got a, I fussy cut this, created a little tuck spot, and these are four and a half by four or finished four by four photo mats for a waterfall. Over here, I, I created two cards using um, cut aparts from the 12 by 12 collection pack. Okay, over here, I've got a nice flap and a very deep pocket. Inside, um, I added two inserts. One is seven by four, the other is seven and a half by four, and then some additional cut aparts. Over here, I've got the gatefold. This is just a nice, beautiful mat layout. Lots of room for photos. Again, another large insert. Now these are what I call a reverse waterfall. And what I mean by that is you can't see the stacking on the outside like in a traditional waterfall it's all underneath and hidden. So each one of these gets a little bit smaller. I, I did two right there. Okay, now I did both essentially the same. So this is a half inch shorter than that one, half inch shorter than that one. And I didn't have this more of this paper, so I just put this here. I left it open-ended so you could tuck a photo. Okay, and each one of these little um, one inch strips at the bottom are tuck spots on each of the pages. And then the largest flap down here, the four by six, closes and keeps everything intact. So again, that's what I call a reverse waterfall. And then this is a nice six by six panel. So we've got a six by six mat here, and then this is a uh, mm, it's not quite six, it's like four and a quarter by six. So this is made from an 11, this is five inches, I guess, uh, 11 inches, so six by 11, and I just scored it here. I just really liked this image. It was cut from the 12 by 12. It's not a cut apart, but I really liked it. I wanted to feature it on one of my pages. Over here, you see the same grid that we had in the front, and I think it makes uh, for a nice background of photos. And that is it for Reign of Grace, everybody. I hope you enjoy. I'll be back soon with another album. As always, this is Daphne from Scrap and Create. I'll see you soon.